welcome back. I know it's, a, it's going to be a short video. Uh, welcome back to another video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So, um, Ethan went with Pam today. She signed him up for um, karate class, right? So, I had asked Ethan about two weeks ago. I said, Ethan, uh, are you interested in joining, going to karate class? He told me he's not sure. He doesn't know. So, I said, think about it, right? So, then two weeks later, he, she tells me, oh, I signed up Ethan for karate class. And I'm saying to myself, did she hear me ask Ethan about karate class? So I said to her, I said, where'd you get the idea from? She's like, oh, one, one of the doctors, his son, you take his, his there's a karate, um, um, uh, uh, there's karate classes next to, uh, close to where, where we work. And so he sends his son there and whatever. She's like, I need help with Ethan because I need him disciplined. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to myself? I look at her like, okay. So when I try to, create structure, discipline, give him good study study habits, she comes in and she interrupts, right? I can't do it. But yet, she puts him into karate class, right? Again, I ask, there you go, sirens again, because they know I'm exposing their shit. She puts him into karate class, right? She says it's going to be two days a week. I said, how much is it going to cost? It's $280 a month. I said, but you always, you know, she's always like, oh, I don't have any money. All right? But she can find money to do this and that. And I said, okay, whatever, that's fine, what have you. All right? So I asked her, I said, so I said to her um, today, so I said, okay, Pamela. I said, I know it sounds good. To, I said, what, don't they have Saturday classes? No. I'm like, call up. They should be. If it's a karate studio, karate class studio. They, I know there's weekend classes, at least a Saturday. But she doesn't want to sign him up for Saturday classes because she will have to get up on Saturday to take him there and she doesn't want to do that. So she signs him up. She's going to sign him up for two days out of the week now. Remember, he has school. Last remember, he failed his classes. Had, went to summer school. Still didn't pass. Why? Because her inability to get him out the house on time in the morning. Okay? Remember, when she went away for that couple of days, for that week or so, I stayed for two, almost two weeks here. And he went to school on time. But for the rest of the summer when I wasn't here, late. Right? So I said to her, I said, Pamela, I know it's two days out of the week, but still, when when he leaves school, have to take the bus or the train over to your job, have to go to the karate class, what have you, and then come all the way home. By the time you get home, right, it's minutes to 8 o'clock, probably even after 8. When is he going to have time to do his homework? Or he could do it while he's here waiting for me. I said, are you sure? Because I know her. I know. When I, I call her all the time. Hey. I asked Ethan to do his homework. Can you check to make sure he does homework? Okay, I'll check. Call back later. Oh, I forgot. Right? No attention. So, like I said, she's doing this not because she wants to discipline for Ethan. She's doing this for her own reason. She's very manipulative. She's not doing this for Ethan. She has her own agenda. Right? Because how I know this is that I'm, I'm, I told her, I said, okay. I said, we'll see. I said, we'll see. Because it is a bad idea to sign him up for karate class when he has school during the week, particularly in the situation in school uh, standing, the way how his school standing is right now, and this is what you're going to do. So she's not thinking about him at all. She's trying to impress somebody, whatever, whatever, or trying to, you know, hang out I guess when he's in karate whatever she has her reason like I said it is not Ethan's it is not for Ethan right because if I was going to sign him up for karate class it would be on a Saturday he can go on Saturday every weekend because during the week as much as he is tired in the morning as she is tired in the morning because she can't get up she thinks that this is a good idea understand you know this is what I have to deal with her mindset and and whenever a doctor gives tell her something, when I tell her the same thing, she don't listen. But let one of her coworker, who's a doctor, whoever, a nurse, what have you, you know, oh, you know, she, the doctor told me I should do this. And I'm like, I told you this months ago. But this is the mindset. See, titles and positions, some women, that is what really uh, uh, attracts them to people. Doesn't matter if they're shitty people. Okay? doesn't matter if they're shitty people. It's because they may have a title, they may be a doctor, they may be an executive. That's all they see. 
right? Because they live in that delusional mindset. But I gotta keep you guys posted because I already know the outcome of this. Anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.